Gad Haffey had an intent to try to reprice his oil or whatever else the country was selling in the global markets and accept something else as a currency, or maybe launch a gold in our currency, any moves such as that would certainly not be welcomed by the power elite today who are responsible for controlling the world's central banks. So yes, that would certainly be something that would cause his immediate dismissal and the need for other reasons to be brought forth for removing him from. It's happened before. In 2000, Saddam Hussein announced Iraqi oil would be traded in euros, not dollars. Sanctions and an invasion followed. Some say because the Americans were desperate to prevent OPEC from transferring oil trading in all its member countries to the euro. A gold dinner would have had serious consequences for the world financial system, but may also have empowered the people of Africa, something black activists say the U.S. wants to avoid at all costs. The United States should welcome the self-determination of Africans. They certainly have denied self-determination to Africans inside the United States, so we're not surprised by anything that the United States would do to hinder self-determination of Africans on the continent. The UK gold is kept here in a secure vault, somewhere in the depths of the Bank of England. As in most developed countries, there's not enough to go around, but that's not the case in places like Libya and many of the Gulf states. A gold dinar would have given oil-rich African and Middle Eastern countries the power to turn around to their energy-hungry customers and say, sorry, the price has gone up and we want gold. Some say the U.S. and its NATO allies literally couldn't afford to let that happen. 